Welcome to section 6 of the viruses. This is the overview figure showing all the viruses. We will be discussing human herpes virus 8, or the Kaposi's sarcoma virus. Our story takes place on the coast of a beautiful island. Notice the dark blue sky up above? It's quite striking and pretty. This indicates that HHV-8 is a DNA virus. Recall that we use dark colors, including blue, to represent DNA viruses. Now let's get to the dark part of the story. These are sirens and they've been eating poor sailors who have passed near the coast. They lure them in and then they eat them. Looking at all these bones of the eaten men, it'd be more appropriate to use a past tense verb such as ate. These sirens ate the sailors. The fact that they ate the sailors will help you remember that this virus is HHV-8. If you look back a little ways, you can see the sirens calling another group of poor, unsuspecting men. All the sailors are lined up at the edge of the boat. This line, made by the soon-to-be victims, indicates HHV-8 is a linear virus. So, line of men for linear virus. Now let's talk about how HHV-8 manifests itself. Look at those gross red purpley lesions on these evil looking sirens. While they eat, they show their true form, getting blood spattered all over their skin. This indicates the endothelial cancers that appear as skin lesions in affected patients. Here's a photograph showing Kaposi sarcoma, those skin lesions on these monsters. This cancer of the endothelium can manifest as these skin lesions which are really vascular cancers not cancers of the skin directly. In fact, the GI system and the lungs are also prone to getting this vascular cancer from HHV-8. Those manifestations are not nearly as obvious as these skin manifestations. So again, purple-red blood-spattered skin on the monsters represents those purple-red vascular lesions seen in Kaposi sarcoma. This condition is called Kaposi sarcoma, a type of cancer. See all those cancer ribbons on the bones of those deceased sailors? We like to use those cancer hope ribbons to indicate cancer. And the camels back here were the main source of food for these sirens until the sailors showed up. Camels kind of sounds like Kaposi. They don't sound exactly alike, but it's close enough to make camels a good symbol for Kaposi. Bringing it all together, the cancer hope ribbons on the bodies near the dead camels will help you remember Kaposi sarcoma. It looks like one of the guys has survived, and he's trying to help his friend. Look at his friend there, all bandaged up and on this stretcher. We like to use stretchers to represent people who are immunocompromised. Patients who are immunocompromised, such as those with AIDS, are prone to Kaposi sarcoma when infected with HHV-8. You might be wondering why this guy is dragging his friend toward the monsters. The truth is, he isn't a friend at all. He actually formed an alliance with the sirens who promised not to hurt him, as long as he kept bringing them new victims. Anyways, the guy dragging the stretcher towards the camels and cancer ribbons will help you remember that the people who are immunocompromised are the ones who are susceptible to Kaposi sarcoma. Now notice those two lines in the dirt caused by the dragging stretcher. These double lines indicate that HHV-8 is a double-stranded DNA virus. So again, double lines in the sand for double-stranded DNA. Now that we've covered everything in the image, let's do a question to apply what you've learned. A 35-year-old male presents with dark purple plaques all over his hands and arms. He states the rash started a few months ago on his hands and has continued to spread up his arms. The patient endorses a 15-year history of having regular, unprotected sexual intercourse with prostitutes. A lymphocyte CD4 count reveals a level of 350 cells per cubic millimeter. Biopsy of a skin lesion reveals numerous lymphocytes. Gram staining and blood cultures do not grow any organisms. Which of the following is most likely true regarding the cause of this patient's presentation? A. The purple plaques are caused by a single-stranded virus. B. Healthy patients can acquire the infection with similar symptoms through direct contact with the skin plaques. C. A gram-negative organism caused the skin findings. Or D. He would likely be asymptomatic if his CD4 count was 1200. Hopefully you noticed this presentation described Kaposi sarcoma caused by HHV-8. He has purple plaques which have spread. He also has a history that is high risk for AIDS. So the correct answer is D. He would likely be asymptomatic if his CD4 count was 1200. This is correct because it's the immunocompromised patients who are susceptible to Kaposi sarcoma, not those of good health. Once the CD4 count drops, even to 350, AIDS patients are vulnerable to this cancer. Remember this guy dragging his sick friend? Now, A is incorrect because HHV-8 is a double-stranded virus. Remember the two lines caused by the dragging stretcher? Now, B is incorrect because this implies a healthy patient can develop Kaposi sarcoma, which is not true. You don't simply touch somebody with the skin plaques and then get infected. It won't happen. And C is incorrect because we already know the gram stain did not reveal any organisms. If his skin findings were caused by a bacteria, we would suspect Bartonella hensley, which is a gram-negative organism. But this doesn't appear as large plaques, and, like I mentioned, the gram stain didn't reveal any bacteria. And with that, you've learned all you need to about HHV-8 and Kaposi sarcoma.